Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, hello, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be my July BoxyCharm unboxing as well as June BoxyCharm product reviews. Again, I get the base and the premium box, so I'm going to not ramble on too much in the intro. If you guys are interested in BoxyCharm, I have the link down below in my description box. If you guys have any questions regarding BoxyCharm in general, you can definitely ask me down below. And with that being said, I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet. If you would like to see what I got in my July boxes and what my thoughts are on the June items, then just keep on watching. Alright, so the base box this month feels a lot smaller than normal. This is the card for the box. The theme is Fantasy. And again, on the back is all just the products, the retail value, and description. Alright, so the first item is this Alomar Cosmetics Hydrating hydrating complexion trio this was a choice item and I did pick this because I do have two of the Alomar cosmetics blush trios I think it's their older formula it's the one with the blue packaging it's not the new one um, but those are still really really good I really love the formula so for this palette you have a highlighting shade it is just like your under eye matte highlighter um, a lighter bronzer and a little bit darker of a bronzer I did get the fair light one Based on like the pictures, I think the medium or light medium medium one would have been too dark. I don't remember. I just know there was three options and I felt like the other one, even in the middle, was going to be too dark for me. I would have preferred that one just for like the yellowy under eye setting powder shade. But I think this trio is just better suited for my skin than that one. So I'm definitely excited to use this. This retails for $25 and it says add dimension, warmth, and luminosity to your skin with this complexion trio. Which includes sculpting powders designed to bronze and brighten your look. Designed with skin tone and skin care in mind, these are talc free and formulated with hyaluronic acid for a hydrated and buttery smooth finish. Vegan and cruelty free. Then we have this Billion Dollar Brows Micro Brow Pencil and the shade is taupe. I, I don't have light brow hairs. I don't have light hair at all. I can try it out if I'm doing like a character with light hair and I do like cover up my brows and redraw them. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely not taupe. So this retails for $16, so it's not too expensive, but it's not like the most affordable brow pencil either. And it says, when precision matters, this brows on point micro brow pencil will help you get the look you want. The precise brow pencil features a thin tip to cover each and every hair with the color you want and can create hair-like strokes for a natural looking eyebrow. Alright, so next is the Grande Glow Plumping Liquid Highlighter. I've never heard of a plumping highlighter at all, but this is in the shade French Pearl. Look at that applicator, holy cow. Alright, so this is what the shade looks like on the back of my hand. Blend it out. That adds such a nice little glow. This retails for $25 and it says a plumping liquid highlighter infused with a rapid skin lifting serum. Then uplift to firm and tighten fine lines. This pearlescent formula provides the plumping and moisturizing power to give your skin a radiant luminescent glow. So the next item we have is an eye serum. It's from Mud Masky. And I feel like we're just getting so many eye creams. I have one in last month's box. I had one from a couple months before. This is one fluid ounce. This is as much as you get in a foundation. Do you know how long foundations last me? This is going to last me forever. So I don't think I'm going to be using this one anytime soon. This retails for $63. And it says the delicate skin around the eyes is 10 times thinner than the skin on the rest of the face, making it the first place to exhibit signs of premature aging such as dark circles and fine lines. This eye serum contains a blend of all natural vitamin C, a superfood ingredient essential for firming the skin. With a refreshing and powerful antioxidant effect, this serum is ideal for all skin types. And then the last thing is this Detox Hair Serum from The Lifestyle Co. And this is the packaging here. It's just another one of those little like dropper things. I've been trying to get better about doing stuff for my hair. So I'll definitely have to give this a shot. This is retails for $79. $79 is a lot. I hope I don't like this because I don't want to spend that kind of money on my hair care. So it says, nourish and balance the scalp and hair with this hydrating elixir. Made from nutrient-dense plant oils, such as argan and almond oils, this plant-based formula stimulates and smooths dry and itchy scalp promotes healthy growth and leaves your hair shiny and soft. My base box retails for $208. That's a pretty hefty price tag on a base box. So on to the premium box for July. It was an Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina takeover box. So 
Here's the top of the box there. And here is the card. But you do get the list of everything on the back as well with the retail value. And they have a buy one, get one 50% off sale for the Anastasia website using code ABHX. Boxy valid until August 8th. So the first item is one of the choice items and this was the palette. You could have picked between this one which is the volume 3 and the purple one which I want to say is volume 1 but this is the palette here. I love butterflies. I love fall time and this color story definitely screams fall to me. The packaging is a lot more intimidating because I thought there was going to be more like bright oranges. We all just know I don't do too much orange orange but there's not not many bright oranges like I think these are really the only three and then you have that darker red and this is just super super pretty I feel like I'm gonna use this so much in the fall time and I really enjoy this formula I do have the pink palette which I think is number four that was gifted to me from a friend and I really enjoyed the formula of it so the palette retails for $60 and it says expanding the Norvina collection the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina pearl pigment palette volume 3 is a professional grade artistry palette featuring 25 deluxe size High performance shades with a stunning autumn themed color story. Get even more Norvina curated shades with this limited edition pro palette and create your most artistic makeup looks yet. And then it also has a list of the shades that are like the pressed pigments and that aren't intended for the immediate eye area. So next was another choice item and I've already tried the Anastasia loose powders so when I saw it was a choice. I really wanted to get the banana one because I love the banana powder. I was hoping I could get my hands on it but that one was already picked over by the time I got there. So I'm glad they at least had the translucent powder in stock because I forgot what the other choice items were, but these are such good powders. I'm at least happy I can get use out of the translucent one and it wasn't just like the darker shades that were left that I wouldn't be able to use. It is such a good powder. I love using it when I do my body paints. It just keeps me like matte. It keeps everything in place because I'm sitting in front of my lights for anywhere from two hours to like eight hours. It keeps my base looking just matte and flawless. And this retails for $38 and it says perfect, brighten, and set makeup in place with this loose powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This lightweight, super fine powder formula goes on smoothly as it absorbs oil, minimizes shine, and leaves you with a flawless matte finish. The silky formula gives the complexion a seamless soft focus effect blurs the look of imperfections, and extends the wear of your makeup. All right, so then we have the Anastasia Loose Highlighter in the shade Vegas. This is the shade here. Let's see if this is a shade that would work for me. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna pick it up on my finger and put it on the back of my other hand. That'll be light enough to work for my face, so. That is so pretty. So this loose highlighter retails for $25 and it says loose highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills is a shimmering loose highlighter powder with highly reflective iridescent pearls that deliver an intense sparkly payoff. The easy to blend formula has a soft velvety texture that leaves you with a silky finish. Like a loose powder version of ABH's glow kits, this finely milled lightweight formula allows for buildable coverage so you can create everything from subtle luminosity to dramatic high reflect looks. So next we have an Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Malt and I haven't actually tried any of their liquid lipsticks. I know people say it's like some of the most drying ones they've ever tried. I don't mind the drying liquid lipstick especially if it's going to be something that's going to last. I'd rather have it be drying and last than just to smudge all over especially for this kind of color like this is something I would not want all over my face but I always wear lip balm under it and then put it on so it's less drying. It still dries down, but it's not as like deserty on your lips. I'll do a swatch just because I do have to go to work after this, so I don't want it to like be too dark. Yeah, that would definitely be too dark for me to wear at work. I probably could, but like, I'm not trying to go too dramatic today. So the liquid lipstick retails for $20 and it says, liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills is a full pigment liquid formula that dries down to a weightless matte finish for smudge proof wearability and long lasting color. The comfortable formula delivers full coverage wear that creates the appearance of fuller lips and lasts all day. Next we have the brow definer and I got the shade medium brown. At least this could be a closer shade match to me than the billion dollar brows taupe one. Definitely can make that work better than the taupe shade. This retails for $23. So it says brow definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills is an all-in-one triangular tipped retractable pencil to define detail and fill in eyebrows. Featuring three different sized edges, this pencil delivers ultimate application versatility 
with ease while the custom spoolie end blends for natural looking finish. All right, so then lastly is this double-ended eyeshadow brush. It is not the same double-ended brush that comes in like the Modern Renaissance palette and stuff. I don't know if this is the same or not, but I know this set is definitely different. It's definitely like smaller versus like fluffier. So this retails for $16 and it says compact and perfect for on-the-go application. The synthetic brush allows you to deposit color, highlight or pack shadow with the flat end and diffuse and blend that with the fluffy end. So overall, I'm really, really happy with the Anastasia Takeover box. Again, like I wish I would have had the banana powder instead of the translucent. Brow color should work on me just fine. I love getting brushes because I can, again, use them for makeup or like my body paints. The liquid lipstick is such a beautiful fall color. The palette is a beautiful fall color. The highlight is absolutely stunning. The retail value for this is lower than the base box, actually. The base box retailed for $208, where this box retails for $182. But I'm definitely more excited about the items in this box. But yeah, that just goes to show just because the retail value is higher doesn't necessarily make it a better box. That was it for my July unboxing. If you guys would like to see my review on the June items, then just keep on watching. So again, I do not have a review for the eyeshadow palette and the lip liner just because I didn't really love the color story for the palette and the lip liner was a color I was not going to wear. The only other thing I do not have a review for is this Jekka Black Hydrate Primer. For this, I just have other primers right now that are open, that are older, that I just want to get used out of. So I did not find the need to open this and give this a shot yet. So I do not have a review for that one. And then I totally forgot to move the Glam Glow Face Cleanser into my bag bathroom just because I had other cleansers open right now so I just haven't used this one but I remember liking it it has that strong like scent I don't know how to explain it minty ish and it's just a little bit pricey but if it ever goes on sale I would most likely consider repurchasing this one then we have the eye cream I really really like this eye cream I used it today my concealer goes on top of it smoothly even when I don't wear concealer, it's just very nice and hydrating under the eye, so I do really like this. I can use it daytime and nighttime, and it's really nice. Then we have the Earth Harbor Laguna Body Serum. This one is so nice. Like I said, I never really used like body oils and stuff. I used it a little bit. I did not use it too much. Um, but I used it after I did exfoliate my body and everything and then just put this on a little bit goes such a long way This is so nice so hydrating and it doesn't feel like sticky or overly oily at all All right, the NARS lip crayon. I really really like this So again, I love the shape of it that it could be like a lip liner and also like fill it in real quick without you know feeling like you're filling it in, needing to sharpen it and fill it in again. So good, so long lasting, so comfortable, such a perfect nude shade. Then we have the Skin Regimen Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This, again, is what it looks like. It's nice, but it's not anything more special than my Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. I don't know if I just need to use it for more than a month to really feel a difference. The Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Foundation. So this is the foundation I'm wearing today. Again, I got the shade 26Y Light. Pretty good shade match. It's so lightweight, but so matte. I've been using it with a brush, and that's how you know it's good, because most of my foundations work with these sponges and stuff, but I don't always love how they apply with the brush. This one is so thin that like it blends really nicely. It doesn't leave any streakiness, but it covers so well. It's lasted at work. I've worn this a couple different days. Like when I'm filming before going to work, this is most likely the foundation I'm wearing if I'm not just doing powder foundation. And it'll last through filming before work. It'll last all day at work. And again, I work at a gym. We have an outdoor pool, so I'm inside, outside, inside, outside picking up stuff at the end of the night and walking around the gym all day and all that. It's not like it's lasting me a eight hour desk job. It's lasting me a six and a half hour physically exerting job. I really like this. I probably wouldn't repurchase it because it is really, really pricey. So next is the Dominique Cosmetics Transitions Palette. And again, this is supposed to be your full face palette. The only thing is I don't have a solid like contour -y shade. This one is definitely more of a light bronzer shade for me. I have a sh mix of these two as my blush today. I have these two as my under eye powder. I've used the darker brown for my brows. The black as like a little bit of just eyeliner, not like a winged liner or anything, but just to add like some darkness to the lash line because I'm just, I'm not good at using brushes to do eyeliner. Like I need my liquid eyeliner and stuff. I can't get away with using those angled brushes or even those like 
pencil-y type, like very thin brushes for like gel liner. I just, I, I can't do it. My eyes are too small. I'm just not skilled enough for that. I need the fine tip liquid liner just to psh, draw a flick and I'm good. And I love the mustardy as a blush shade because we all know I like my yellow blush too. So I wish there was a more contour shade for me in here, but otherwise I absolutely adore this palette. Great formula and I love it. So then the last item is the Touch and Soul Glodiant Highlight Palette. I have a mix of these three shades on my cheeks today. You have to go so light handed with this. Oh my gosh, this is so blinding, so beautiful and it can go very light. I wanted to have a little bit of a blinding highlight today, so I went a little bit heavier. I've done this when I just have powder foundation on, did a little bit of blush, and went in very lightly with this. So you can definitely go very subtle to very blinding with this, and I think it's super pretty. Again, I'm not really going to get much use out of those unless I use them as eyeshadows, but I also love this shade as an inner corner highlight. So beautiful. Alright guys, so that was it for my July BoxyCharm unboxing and June product reviews. Let me know what you guys got in your July boxy charms. If you got the Anastasia box, what palette did you get? What items did you get in your box? Because I've seen a lot of variations just being the Anastasia takeover as well. So I'm definitely curious on what you guys got in your boxes. If you tried any of the items that I got in the June box, let me know what your thoughts are on those items as well. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little thumb notifications so you guys know every single time that I upload. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!